Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing? Happy Friday. It is the 11th day of December, and can you believe we are two weeks away from Christmas Day? Time as I make this here is uh, 3.30 a.m. No fog at this location right now, but there is a dense fog advisory. I'll show you the map in a little while. We are three hours away from uh, sunrise as I make this, so the fog would be closer to dawn. But another great day today. We've been batting a thousand Wednesday, yesterday, today. Absolutely sensational. We know this can't last and it won't. This is it. This is the last day. We uh, have a weekend storm system in two parts. Part one, Saturday. Part two, Sunday night into early Monday. And then more cold air funnels in Monday, just like last Monday. And also on this video, we'll take a look. Sometimes I like to, you know me, I like to look way off into the horizon towards Christmas week and see what, uh, what might, might be lurking out there. Maybe an active Christmas week, perhaps. There's that dense fog advisory covering much of central and southern and western Alabama till 9 o'clock this morning with visibility down to a quarter of a mile early. But then things really get nice again. We'll be in the low 70s again. Much of the central and eastern part of the nation in the above normal temperatures. Only south Florida is a little bit below normal. So a beautiful day today with lots of sunshine. Again, lower 70s, a remarkable pattern for December, but we note that storm system out to the west of us, so weather changes are on the way. So after the dense fog early this morning, mostly sunny today with a high temperature in the lower 70s again. Not as cool tonight, overnight low 50 with those southerly winds. Here's tomorrow, frontal system approaching part one of two uh, parts of the storm system with showers uh, tomorrow. I think primarily showers. There's a look at the radar at four o'clock in the afternoon. I know there's a lot of Christmas events tomorrow. You can see the, the band of showers through, moving through central Alabama. Should be out by, uh, let's say, later on in the evening. I think much of the day Sunday is dry, but we note that storm system out to the west of us, which will be bringing in a round of rain and probably some good soaking rain, I think, as we get into Sunday night and probably into the early part of Monday before the rain comes to an end and it turns breezy and colder on Monday. Uh, a stiff breeze will make the temperatures in the low 50s seem a lot colder. Rainfall potential, this may be a little underdone. It shows one to two inches across central Alabama. A little bit lighter uh, amounts in southeast Alabama, but uh, I think we could see some heavier amounts here in central Alabama. So look for a 50% chance of showers at least, maybe a little bit better chance than that uh, as we get into Saturday. Much of Sunday is dry, then rain and thunderstorms on Sunday night, and then ending on early in the day on Monday before it turns sharply colder. We're down to freezing again by Tuesday morning and maybe some more showers by midweek. We're looking way out there now. There could be another significant storm system maybe the following weekend. Not this weekend. We're talking about the next weekend. And then maybe another storm system Christmas week. That's way out there. And that's subject to change. But I'm just giving you a peek at the future, the distant horizon. All right, so take it easy with the fog this morning and enjoy a beautiful day today. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we're live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1, live on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Their morning program is called Alabama Rising. Your forecast, of course, across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations whenever you want it, every day of the year. And uh, no video tomorrow because it is Saturday. But even on Saturday and Sunday, I get up real early in the morning before dawn and uh, write a weather blog for you. And usually that's posted by about dawn or thereabouts. Have a great day and enjoy the weekend and I'll see you later.